Welcome to PC Wits Kits Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the AMD 9950 Quad Processor. This is the Black Edition. I'm using this as part of my building of a performance gaming PC. Now this one here is the retail box and it's actually the 125 watt version as opposed to the 140 watt version. It comes by default with a stock speed of 2.6 uh, gigahertz and here's the part number for those that are interested and um, the ambient case temperature that that it supports maximum is actually 64 degrees now in the box it comes with the fan the CPU and the manual that's about it now if we look at the fan the stock cooler here that it comes with it's a one piece okay and uh, it does have a, a fairly decent makeup as you can see it's it's a little guy but it, it comes with a nice copper base with two pipes coming out from each side and from that thick copper base of course it's attached to the aluminum heat sink which is also uh, a quite a large heat sink there and then the fan which is attached to it and then the cable of course that plugs into your motherboard to, to turn that on now um, here's the CPU itself it's a 65 uh, nanometer CPU okay the technology AM2 plus 940 pin socket that we would uh, install this onto, of course. Uh, made in Malaysia and diffused in Germany. Okay, so that's the fabrication facilities are in Germany, for those uh, that are wondering about that. And um, the next thing, I guess, is let's go ahead and install this on the motherboard, right? So we take it out of the package and uh, we open up the uh, lever here on the socket on this Asus M3A78-T, which I reviewed in my previous uh, video and article. And um, important thing to, to note, on the corner here, there's a little arrow of the socket. You don't see that on the other one, so that little triangle. You want to match that triangle up with the triangle that's on the processor. So this, this actually applies to a lot of other CPUs as well. When you go to install it, you want to make sure that you align and the orientation of it is the same. So that corner matches up with that corner because of that little triangle and you'll know because when you put it down it just falls and snaps right in there without any effort right and then of course you just bring that lever down and lock it underneath the socket there and it secures it in place that's it that's all you have to do to install uh, a CPU so um, the next thing of course is to apply some thermal grease and install the fan now here's the stock fan again that came with um, with the uh, retail box I'm not going to use eventually the stock fan for my test system I'm going to use the Sunbeam Tech one but this one here comes already with thermal grease on the copper base uh, if you uh, don't have a cooler that has that then you can use your own thermal grease and here's the tunic uh, TX-2 you just put a little drop in the center on the side depends where you want and how big your cooler base is just to make sure that you cover the entire area right but don't put too much and then of course you fasten your cooler now most coolers come of course with uh, their own brackets and attachments that you have to change this one is the stock cooler it just goes right on top of of the bracket that's on the motherboard easily you just attach one end and uh, secure it and then you attach the other end there it's almost like a harness there and it just latches on and then you you, you clip it in place right and lock it in then you plug in the uh, power connector for the for the fan, for the CPU fan, and uh, and you're all set. Take the motherboard and then install it in your case. Now I've already skipped that, skipped that step, and here's the specs for the system, and and I'll post more details on this on uh, the website. But uh, when I installed it and got it into Windows, I ran CPU-Z, and here's what the uh, results are for CPU-Z. I did overclock this processor. It was a very simple process to overclock, right? You can do it through the AMD Overdrive utility, which is what I'm showing you right now. This utility you get from AMD for free, and you can set the multipliers. I set them to 15 times, and I upped the voltage to 1.45, okay? So when, when you take the default... Uh, clock speeds and up them and then uh, up the voltage to support that then you can test and, and, and stabilize your system by running some burn-in tests for example and I've, I've done that uh, the system runs idle at about 40 or less than 40 and then a full load 100% all four processors all four cores 
it goes up to about 46.5, 47 at the most. Uh, and I've run this uh, for at least eight hours straight. So uh, I'm pretty stable with that. Now, the 3 d Mark 06 results, I ran it first at 2.6 uh, gigahertz, the stock values, um, just to see and compare it later on with the overclocked value, right? So here are the settings. If you're interested, you can just take a look here at the screenshot. And I ran it, and I got 11.949. Those are the 3D marks, and the CPU score, which is really what we're interested in, is 3547, okay, for, for this specific system and CPU. Then I overclocked it, like I said, to 3 gigahertz by multiplying it, 15x, and I got um, 12607 3D marks. So there's a substantial increase here. I also did the same thing for 3D mark Vantage, okay, and... Um, Here's the CPU score if you're interested. 9567 is the CPU score. Okay. Now I also ran the Sandra Pro um, edition to see what the CPU scores would be compared to other processors, right? Other similar processors. So the red bar here is mine. That's the uh, the Phantom X4 9950, and all the other ones are as follows. I have. Uh, the stock 9950 in orange, I've got uh, a 9850, a 9750, and an Intel 2 Quad uh, QX6700. So um, when I ran the Sandra benchmarks, it uh, shows that the um, Phenom X4 overclocked to 3 uh, gigahertz beat all of these, of course including the Intel um, processor. So this was a beauty to, uh, to overclock, and I definitely recommend this processor. So if any of you are looking to uh, get a, a decent processor for a great price that you can overclock and play around with, this is definitely something that I would recommend getting. So I thank uh, AMD for providing me this um, processor, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.